Tell me how you got started in the music industry. I got started in the music business as a child. Um, I sang at my preschool graduation. My aunt taught me how to sing. She's a classically trained vocalist as well as a classically trained pianist and Negro spiritualist. I've been a recording artist for the past uh, 10 years, 10 to 11 years. My claim to fame is actually being a rape victim. Nobody really took a lot of notice uh, until sadly in 2008 when I was raped by a police officer. And when I finally came out to the public about that, it turned out that people started posting that story all over the internet. And I started getting phone calls from local reporters and everything else so I mean it's sad that people want to care about me now that something terrible happened to me but that's the truth and that's so have you put out any albums of any kind of sort yes I have a single out now called dedicated dedicated where can we find that single at? you can definitely buy that single on amazon.com Amazon I guess you could say I was born in the industry, uh, particularly the performing arts, because there was always plays going on in my household, musicals, operas, and those sort of events. But I didn't get really into the industry until I was about two, three thousand years old. Two, three thousand years yes. old? Two, three three thousand yes. years old? Yes. And why do you say that? Because I'm six thousand and one today. You can find me at Sweet Fingers. Uh, I always sing uh, at Sweet Fingers as well as the Revolution Cafe. I actually sing there every Tuesday because they are one of the few uh, cafes, uh, locations that actually have a grand piano. So that's why I really love to perform at the Revolution Cafe. So what do you, where do you see yourself at in the next five years in music Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Do you have any vision of a dream? Yes. Mm -hmm. I want success. Uh, I want to come out, I definitely want to come out with an album. I definitely want it to be a hit. Uh, I want to just continue to perform and do what makes me happy, which is music, entertainment, and acting. Is there anything you'd like to say to let the world know? Indiana B T V what you are really about. Oh, I am really about freedom and justice actually. Uh, I'm the type of person where I've taken a lot of shit since childhood as well as as most people know in two thousand eight and I believe in justice and the truth. And while we're still rolling, I would like to give a shout out to Donald Jenkins as well as Jimmy Ray Jr. So we're going to conclude this segment on Indiana BTV with eyes. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye, Indiana BTV. I love you. Mwah.